All right, so the other equation for area is called, known as Heron's formula. And it's worth just double taking the, di the diagram for a non-right angle triangle here. So there's two bits you need to know. Something that they call the semi-perimeter, S, which is basically half of the perimeter. You add up all the sides, C, B, A, A plus B plus C, and you divide the whole up by two. It gives you the semi-perimeter. And for the area, you have to use this one here. So it's going to be the square root of everything under here. So it's the semi-perimeter times all this stuff, the brackets. If you have this written down, in your formula book, you will just have to remember when to use it. So what instances would you use Heron's formula? Non-right non -right angle triangle, yep. Yeah. And what information do you need to use it? All sides, no angles. Worth noting down. All sides, however, no angles required. If we can if we contrast that with the other formula, you need to have at least one angle and two sides. So one angle and two sides for this one. So that's it really, just knowing when to use it. All the sides, no angles, and then you've just got to type it in correctly on your calculator. So try that now on this example, off you go. All right, so the first job, work out the semi-perimeter. Two plus three plus four makes nine. So S is gonna be 2 plus 3 plus 4 makes 9, divided by 2 gives us 4.5 or 4.5. Now, put that into your equation for area. So the area is going to be, big square root sign, 4.5 times the difference of 4.5 and 3, times the difference of 4.5 and the other side, so that can be 2, and then lastly, 4.5 minus 4. That's got to all be under the square root sign. And so you should have all got 2.90. 2.9. Now, this has no units, so there's no units required in your answer. Okay, so it's a unitless triangle. Right, last question. Applying this to the Bermuda Triangle. So have you heard of Bermuda Triangle? All right, so they recently found out, apparently, the Bermuda Triangle has been sinking ships because of freakishly large waves. So this is a mysterious triangle where ships go missing. Um, regardless of uh, the fact, the, the backstory though, it is a non-right angle triangle. And this question has given you three sides with no angles. So likely, they're going to be asking you to either find out an angle using the cosine rule, or, in this case, the area of the whole triangle. So let's just read the question. Um, Bermuda Triangle, blah, blah, blah. Find the area taken up by the Bermuda Triangle to two decimal place. So at this point, you should see the three sides and think Heron's formula. So off you go. Have a go. Okay, so semi-perimeter first. So add them all up and divide by two. Very simple. Um, procedure really just time consuming and obviously you've got to know when to use it so what's the semi perimeter 2454 2454 okay so now we've got s we can use the other equation so that's going to have um, area equals big square root of s times so let's use that 252454 two, times, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to put S in there. You know what S is. It's going to, you do S minus every side, timesing each other. It doesn't matter what order you do these, because it just ends up being a product of all of it. One seven seven oh, and the answer should come out as one one four five four one nine point four four, and that's going to be in kilometers squared. Now it's good for an applied question to have a bit of a common sense look at your answer 
and just see. And if you if you think about it, if you're doing the two-dimensional shape and the side lengths both have four digits in them, you'd expect to have about eight digits in your answer, which you do. It's about the right size. So that's correct. That's a very, very big area, but that is, uh, that's the right answer, I think. So 